Today, I'm going to be talking about some of the disappointment that people have with Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. Let's get to the video and let's discuss. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Lay Von Case, and I am back at it again with another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about some of the disappointments of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. And one of those disappointments is the fact that this is not a remake, but a remaster. And my response to that is, you gotta remember how Rockstar announced this definitive edition. They announced it more like a remaster instead of a remake. You know, here's some of the things that they announced that's supposed to be coming with this definitive edition. It was supposed to have higher draw distance, higher resolution textures, using Unreal Engine 4, having Grand Theft Auto 5 style control, and also having waypoints. Now to me, this spells an enhanced remaster, not a remake. One of the other disappointments that people had with this definitive edition that it's not using Grand Theft Auto 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2 type graphics. Now, you got to remember, guys, this is a remastered at the end of the day. So while, yes, it is using Unreal Engine 4, it still, you know, kind of looks very similar to its original PS2 counterpart with better cartoony graphics and also we as younger gamers got to remember this you know a lot of us when gta 3 or gta vice city or uh grand theft auto san andreas you know when those came out we were little kids and we got to remember how the graphics looked the graphics look like a dreamcast cartoony games that's what they pretty much look like so to see these original dreamcast cartoony looking games get upgraded to unreal engine 4 cartoony games to me that's a huge step up instead of what i thought that rockstar was going to do which was basically, you know, have a little bit more high resolution textures and port the mobile version into these old and next gen consoles and even the Switch. Just port the mobile version and, you know, clean it up a little bit more and just put it out there for $60. But no, they actually use the Unreal Engine 4 and actually improve the graphics a bit and rockstar i am proud of you for doing that i am but pretty much at the end of the day you know people were going to be disappointment disappointed regardless i mean there's still people out there that are disappointed that this is not grand theft auto 6 and my response to that is Grand Theft Auto 6 is not coming out anytime soon. It'll probably come out either in 2025 or in 2026 because Rockstar is still making that money from that Grand Theft Auto online. And they are still going to make that money from this, you know, Grand Theft Auto trilogy, the definitive edition, like... At the end of the day, Rockstar is just going to make bulk loads of money at the end of this year. Nothing more, nothing less. And also, another thing too, some people have problems with the character models, I guess. And to me personally, I don't really have a problem with them or anything like that, but... <laughs> Again, we got to remember that these games were cartoony. So, 
I expect the character models to look a little bit weird and off. That's what I expected. And also, another disappointment, I guess, is the fact that um, people are concerned that there's going to be censorship, there's going to be, you know, soundtrack soundtracks taken out and all those other things. And that's a legitimate disappointment right there because those original soundtracks kind of help the game, you know, especially Vice City. And also to it being censored and it having content removed, you know, we're gonna have to wait and see on that. We're gonna have to wait for Digital Foundry and other, you know, game comparison YouTube channels to tell that the things that are removed in this definitive edition. I am so glad that this is more like a Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy remastered to where they upgraded the graphics for modern standards. Instead of it being um, a Super Mario 3D All-Stars type of remastered where a little bit of things improved, but overall the game pretty much looks the same. So I'm glad that Rockstar took the Toys for Bob approach instead of the Nintendo approach. And also too, I think that there's gonna be a little bit of censorship, just a little bit. You know, there's not gonna be a hot coffee mod or anything like that, so don't expect it. But I do expect a little bit more censorship because of today's society. But maybe I could be wrong, but that's the feeling that I'm getting. But thank you guys for watching. Peace. I hope you guys have a good day. And what version do you guys plan on getting Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition on? Do you, are you guys going to get on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, the Xbox Series consoles, the Xbox One consoles, the PC, or even the mobile version. Let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications so that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos future live on case and gaming videos future live on case and live streams and also other videos that i do such as you know reaction videos and and things of that nature bye